Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. One of the questions I get by far the most is, Bob, how do I get mail on the road? Uh, and that's, there's not a really simple answer to that. It's tied up into your state of residence and, uh, and other things, your driver's license. But uh, the, the, the easy short answer is you get a mail forwarding service. And get a choosing wisely, a good mail forwarding service is very important. So today here, we're, we're here with Linda and Brian. Hello. Welcome. Hey. And you are the owners of Mail Messages and More, a mail forwarding service in Pahrump, Nevada. Yes. While we're standing, obviously, inside your office. And, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, you, you guys just run a really great business here in Pahrump. Well, thank, thank you. you. And I have been receiving my mail here for about five years and been promoting it to everyone that will listen uh, <laughs> from the top of the rooftops shouting from the top of the rooftops and uh you've gotten a lot of nomad business here now. yes we have we have quite a few customers now and we're doing good yeah in today's video we want to talk about what is a mail forwarding service how does it apply to your life and uh, um, all the details and uh, that go in, are involved in that so as a nomad where do you get mail if you, you can choose any state to be a resident of, and there are a lot of factors, that's a whole other video. I've got videos out on that, go check them out. Uh, but you choose a state, and then you have to have someone that will hold your mail, get your mail for you. Um, there are key, two key things in understanding becoming a state resident, getting your driver's license, getting your mail. The first is your physical address, and the other is your mailing address, and they're completely different things. So as a mail forwarder, you are just a mailing address. Yes, we can accept all mail and packages that come in here, but we are not considered your physical address. We are known as a mail service. Right. And here in, uh, in Nevada, I think everywhere, but I know here in Prompt, the DMV keeps a list of the, uh, is that right? They yes. They know that it'll show up that we are a mail service and they will require at least 30 day physical address here in Nye County, not just Nevada, Nye County. Does that apply to the rest of Nevada or just Nye County? I'm not sure how it applies in other counties, but Nye County is very strict. You have to be in Beatty, Tonopah, or Pahrump with the physical address for at least 30 days. Right, and that's true of, of most states. They they will absolutely require a physical, it's a, actually federal law, part of the Patriot Act. I won't go into it, it's complicated, but you have to have a physical address and, an, and a mail forwarding address. One way to think about that is when you go to get your insurance, if you become a resident of the state, you're gonna register your car there, you're gonna get your driver's license there. When you go to get your, your insurance, your insurance will have to have someplace they send your statements, yeah, a mailing address, but they will also require where you garage your vehicle. That has to be a physical address. It can't be a mail for it. So that's the separation. Somewhere you live, somewhere your mail goes to, and you provide the mail service. Yes, we take care of all your mailing needs that you have. We can receive your mail um, on your request. We can mail it out or um, we can put you on a schedule, however you want to do it. We do accept all packages from all shippers. So unlike the post office who won't accept UPS right. and FedEx and on track, we accept from all shippers. Right, so, uh, and what are, what's the actual process of setting up a, uh, an account with you? It, it's a real simple process. You can either print our forms off our website at nvmailforwarding.com. They 1583 form does need to be notarized if you're not here in person and you can either just mail everything in or you can just come on in in person it takes five minutes right the form 1583 that's a post office form right that's the one that it, it's pretty much just letting them know that you are you and that it is okay for your mail to come here right and that's all it's stating it doesn't change your address it doesn't do anything like that but it does let them know legally that it is you requesting your mail to come here. At one of the services you offer is you will actually, if I want you to, and only if I give you, tell you to, you'll actually open my mail and read it to me? Absolutely, we'll open your mail and check it with your permission. And if it's something urgent, we do scan and email it to you right away. 
in case you know it's something you need right now or if you're out of the country a lot of our customers aren't in the country and it's something they need urgently so we do do that and we do also if you get a bunch of tiny packages from Amazon we will repackage all into one package with your permission again to make it more convenient for you and less expensive right so that form 1583 actually gives you permission to with with the client's permission to open the package otherwise you'd be stealing and yeah exactly no <laughs> we we absolutely have to have your permission right. and we would always ask because it just it just seems easier because you it, amazon right. gets crazy with their packaging yes. they can put a a sim card in a five by six box you know so we can just settle it all down for you and yeah. get it out to you and, and save you money right, right. definitely save you money because <laughs> yeah. bigger the package the more the cost right so the idea is that all your mail will come here they'll hold on to it until you're ready to receive it and like you said you will do a schedule if someone knows where they'll be right if you're gonna be somewhere for three four months and you want it every week or once a month then we can just put you on that schedule um, to go out however you'd like it for that amount of time or if I need something right now, I'll just call and say, have you got this? You'll say, yeah, and you'll just send it out right that minute. Yep. Or we get, as we long can. as we can, we get you out the same day as long right. as you call before our you know, mailman shows up to take it out. Right. And we also do have four types of mailing. <clears throat> our type ones would just receive first class letters. So you're not getting all the catalogs from Smith's or Albertsons. Or... Right. You can choose the type of mail you want, which also keeps your postage costs down. Right. Some people want all their magazines and catalogs, so they would be a type four. Uh, type one, you're just going to get important mail first class and above. Right. So that, again, the, the key thing being you're in control of what you get, what you don't get, when you get it. Right. Anything can be changed in one second. Just give us a call and say, hey, I forgot I love my fishing magazine. Yeah. I forgot I had that. Okay, we'll make you a type three. Now you'll get your fishing magazine. Right, right, right. Uh, and so uh, they can, uh, any modern means of communications, text. Text, emails, phone calls. Yeah, And we always answer the text and phone call, uh, emails. So we don't answer, something's not right. So just always make sure we answer. Quick answer, but we answer. Right, right. I have done, over the years, I've been with a lot of uh, different uh, mail forwarding services. I've even been with some terrible ones. Uh, and uh, it's been nothing but fantastic service here. Thank you. Well, thank well, you. You know, I have, we were with one once. I won't tell their name or where. They literally did the opposite of everything I told them. <laughs> I, I, that sounds ridiculous. But it's true. They, whatever I told them to do, they did the opposite. <laughs> it was bizarro world, and that's that's been really fantastic. So, what are your prices? All right, it's um 140 a year for the actual service plus postage. So your initial sign up is 180 dollars. That starts you with 40 in your postage account, and then throughout the first year, you'll see how long that postage lasts. Some people it'll last the whole year, others it'll last two months. Right. Depending on what kind of mail you get, and what you want sent. And that's it. The following year, it's 140, and you can decide because you'll see what you use the first year in postage to what to add to your account. Right. So the postage is when they box it all up, your mail and mail it to you. That costs postage. Right. And, and you're paying for that. And I had a phone call this morning asking about the service, and she asked about I guess some mail services actually charge you just to pack your mail and mail it, and it's an extra fee. We do not do that. I was surprised to hear that. Yeah. She said they charge $5 just to pack the mail. Right. I said, no. <laughs> we don't do that. Right. I said, don't tell my son. <laughs> 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 so, so, yeah, so there's no extra hidden fees. It is what it is. Right. And it's, it's just the cost of being, you know, of being a nomad. It's well worth it. It's, uh, I have been extremely pleased and satisfied with our service here. Uh, and recommend it very, very highly. I also think of Nevada as a good choice for a lot of people, uh, but that's a topic for another day. We'll do another video on how to choose a state of residence. Uh, but every state, wherever you go, will have a mail forwarding service. This is just a very good one here in Nevada. So one more thing that I really appreciate uh, that we receive from Linda at Mail Messages and More is use of her spare parking lot. Uh, 
Howa, Homes on Wheels Alliance, has been doing builds here. And so, Linda, we just really appreciate it. Oh, no, we love having you here. It's all good. <laughs> As you can see, we've got three uh, three vans being built right over here behind us, being solar being put on and uh, uh, just all kinds of things. We've done events here three times, and so far we've we've helped 32 nomads out of those three events that we've held here. And so you're really, you know, you see people's lives being changed right here. Oh, absolutely. The first time I was the actual building of the, the vans and bus mm -hmm. and a small bus, and it was really cool to see everything that got done. Right. Yeah, people come in, their lives are changed. We have trouble doing this on public land because you really have to get a permit to do this on BLM land or national forest. But so having access to your private property. So this is just a spare lot you have by the business. Yes. It's about an acre. Yes. So, you know, an acre, we got a lot of car parking. That's what we use most of it for. But uh, I think we're doing eight rigs right now that we're, we're, uh, we're servicing right now. And, you know, that's eight people whose lives are changed by mail messages more and <laughs> Homes on Wheels Alliance. So thank you very, very, very much. We are glad to help. And we're going to continue. Yes. You know, we'll be doing more into the future. So stay in tune with Howa to see how they can serve you. So, Linda, thank you so much for your years of service. Uh, great service. Uh, I love doing business with you, and thank you for your service to Howa. It's just been fantastic. Thank you. Thank you very much for your support. So tell, remind people how they can get hold of you. Uh, you can check out our website at nvmailforwarding.com. Or you can email us at mmm at perump.com. There you go. And phone number? Oh, that's 775-727-6222. Very good. So if you're looking for a mail forwarder in Nevada, for specifically Perump, I highly, highly recommend mail messages and more. Well, thank you again, Linda. I really appreciate it. Thank you. So folks, if you got anything out of this video, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later. Bye now.